Hey, what's up? It's Blake. We are here in the warehouse, and I'm sorry if it's too messy for you, but don't worry. My advice is how to make money, not how to clean your house, so I hope you are still invested. This is about a quick way I made about 40 bucks in one day, only by being aware of my surroundings. So if you guys know, Pokemon cards are crazy right now. They've been crazy for a while. Everything with a sort of like tangible investment value in the trading card space seems to be going up. With that information out in front of you, uh, I want to tell you a quick little story. So this morning, I turned my car on, one of the headlights was out. I erroneously thought that it was a dead bulb. It was just unplugged, but whatever. This isn't about cars. It's about what happened next. I go to Meyer, a regional grocery store, and I notice there are big construction cars out front, high lows, you know, whatever it is, the things that move very heavy objects uh, around construction sites. I go into the store. Sure enough, all of the aisles, the end caps have been moved around. And so I start thinking, I go, you know what? I've heard stories about people who go and do Rite Aids or Myers and find uh, trading cards on the ground underneath the end caps, and they're very old and they're very rare. So I go around, I look around, uh, I go to where all the sports cards used to be, nothing. I go to the clearance section, because that got moved too, and there's nothing. Finally, I go to where everything is now, and it looks like they moved in some new end caps from across the store, and sure enough, I look down, and I see this, right here. It was actually on the shelf, it wasn't on the ground, but it was on the ground before I got there, and I could tell because there was dust all along this edge. Uh, it's bent up, it's kind of busted, but what this is, it's Pokemon trading card, breakpoint, three packs, with a, uh, a chip and a pyroar, right? Uh, why is this important? Because when you turn it over, you look to see uh, the, the day, the date, the year it was, you know, made. And it says right there, 2016 Pokemon, copyright. And this series of cards might be a little bit, uh, you know, not as old as I may think it is, but certainly this is not on shelves in any other store. And how do I know that? Because when I go on eBay and I scan the barcode, I see only one for sale for 50 bucks uh, and one sold recently for over $60. It was shipped from Australia. So I have this and a cool little bonus is that I only paid $7.79 for it because hey, it's five years old now in 2021. This is clearance merchandise. They do some sort of batch skew processing where any skew that's older than a certain amount of time or a different uh, series or variation just goes straight to clearance. So I paid seven dollars and seventy nine cents for this, probably out of ten bucks or twelve bucks, and then now I can sell it on eBay and make probably about forty five bucks off this. Uh, what I'll do is I'm not going to sell it for fifty bucks. I always go higher if there's one, even though theirs is in better condition than mine. It's kind of beat up here. The card's kind of bent. Supply and demand. This is one of the only ones available, and if you're someone who wants I don't know this chip. You just want to have this uh, package. You're going to pay a premium for it. And I didn't go to this Meyer with the intention of finding any retail arbitrage stuff. I didn't go there trying to make money at all. I was trying to buy headlights, but by being aware of my surroundings and saying, hey, okay, construction, end caps being moved, this might be a great time to unearth some buried treasures and for time sensitive products, sports cards by year, trading cards by series. Anything that is based on a time, really, if those fall to the end or they fall behind a rack, they're going to be there, and the store is still going to sell them. You can even take it a little bit further. If you go to these stores, maybe they're in more rural areas where I am. I'm in southeastern Michigan around Ann Arbor. Not rural, kind of suburban, but I'm sure as you get into more rural areas with less foot traffic, you're going to have more chances to get things like this. So when you go to those Walmarts, or those whatever your regional grocery store is, or even just dusty side of the road stores say, hey, do you have anything that's you know old inventory, old stock? Is it in a box, maybe behind uh, some pallet racks? I don't know where they'd put it. You wanna talk to the salespeople and ask them questions like that. Because old stuff like this, it can even be cleaning supplies. It can be old discontinued food in some cases, although, uh, you have to watch out for restrictions on marketplaces, but let's say it's a 10-year-old Pez dispenser from you know a Star Wars movie or a, a Tim Burton movie or whatever. 
even though it's expired, it's still going to have value because guess what? If you want a new product, there are no more. You know, you have the only one right here. And so just a quick little video about showing you how I made some quick cash today. I'm going to hold on to this and sell it. You know, who knows when. If I can get 65 bucks for it, that would be awesome. After fees, after shipping, I'm about 45 bucks profit, I think. I'm just guessing right here. But that's how the numbers generally shake down. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's get out there and make some money. And as always, don't be a shithead.